So on the 6th of March 2023, I made a video on the G-Grip from Greg Williams. And today, I'm going to do a review, but a year on. So I unlocked the last review that was 14 minutes long, yapping away, just talking absolute nonsense, nothing to do with the product. This review is going to be completely different. This is going to be an experience that I've had for the last year of using this product and actually giving you more value in the video, talking about the product and if this would be perfect for you. So before we get into it, let's go over the box again and what you get inside if you are new here. So starting off on the box here at the front, you've got the picture of the G-Grip and says, hold your phone like a camera, Bluetooth, shutter and grip. On the back, it is just giving you some explanation of the universe compatibilities and what the actual button does. Without further ado, opening up the box is greeted with the G-Grip itself. We'll move that to one side at the moment and then inside is where you get your little G-Grip bracket and a little cardboard cutout and then obviously the manual which is very self-explanatory. It's a Bluetooth button, turn it on, connect it to your Bluetooth. Now let's go over the product which I didn't really do in the last video. But as you can see on the grip it does have these tiny little G's, so it looks like the Google logo but we won't go there because copyright. It does have a nice grip when attached to your phone. And the good thing about this is it's not too grippy that if you do put it in your pocket, it sort of snags on every single bit. It is a very well-built grip as well. It hasn't come loose, it hasn't frayed, it hasn't worn after a year of use. But and again, I haven't found any issues with it disconnecting or connecting. And I mean, after a year of use, there is no delay, there's no wear on there, and it still has the tactile click. The back release clamp, I have found after some time, it does get a little bit looser, so you do get a bit more shake, but it hasn't actually fell off the bracket or anything. So, you know, I can't really fault it. It's just, I guess after a while, the spring is gonna lose tension and it's gonna get a little bit looser. No issues with charging. The charging port, as it's underneath, it is dust free. You, when it's clipped on, there is no dust getting in there. They do supply you with more than one bracket, so I guess when you do take this off, you could bring a spare bracket, but then it's just another thing that you have to add in your pocket or in your bag. So, you know, if you wanna really keep dust out of this, I guess you could get a USB-C little dust cover and just plug that in there every time. But again, that's something extra that you're gonna have to go out and get and bring with you. But for me, I haven't found any issues with the charger port. There's been no dust particles or build up over time so you know unless you're dropping this in the sand or in the mud I can understand but when it's on your phone you know it's, it's not going to give you any issues so overall for the whole year I've had no issues with it it's been perfectly fine the only thing again is the spring now price wise I'm just going to check on the actual website to make sure that it hasn't changed at all so with the price obviously a year on a lot of people were complaining about how expensive it was for just a bluetooth shutter which I understand it is just a button you can get multiple different stores out there that do the same technical thing of just having a button that you can click and it takes a digital photo. The thing with the G-Grip, I think it's because it's so small and minimalistic, uh, the price obviously makes it feel like you're paying for nothing. But when you do actually get this product, I don't know if people have it and you can vouch me in the comments, this thing, it does bring a bit more joy to taking photos with your phone. Now with the price at the moment, as of today, which is the 11th of the 6th, 2024, we've got this from £39, but with the coupon that I have, which is still currently running, which is Callum20, it's in the description, you get 20% off, which then bring this down to £19, but then obviously depending on where you do live, there is a charge. For, for me, for a one to three priority shipping, it is £10. So we're coming up to a total of £29, which I guess you're saving £10 in the total, depending on, like I said, where you live. It might even be free shipping, I don't know. But for me, what I'm hearing, that price right there has dropped massively from when it was before. I believe people were saying it's like 60 plus dollars or 60 odd pounds, where now it's like, it's £29. Like that is crazy droppage. Now, obviously I don't know if they've got a deal on at the moment or what, but just so you know, that's the price I'm getting as of today. So if you wanna go check it out, probably now is your best bet. And again, use that coupon code Callum20 because that's gonna save you 20% on the actual purchase. And every little helps when you come in to buy a new tech. So Callum20 is where you need to be. Now coming back to the device itself, I've used this on and off. If I'm charging it and I take it off my phone, I tend to forget to actually put it back on. Most of the time it is on my phone, I keep it on there, but depending if I'm wearing jeans, joggers or whatnot. If I'm wearing jeans, I take it off because it doesn't actually fit in my pocket. Now, if I'm wearing joggers or if I know that I'm gonna have a, like a side bag with my camera, I slap it on, I put my phone in the bag with the camera, so forth. So when it is actually on, I mean, it does give such a nice feel. And the thing that I love about something like this is the tactile click. It's not even the fact of, you know, what it does or how it makes a handheld feel of a camera in your hand while using a phone. It's that click because sometimes I'll take the photo, but I don't know if I've actually physically taken the photo because I have my phone shutter sound off. And, you know, sometimes you think you've clicked the button, you get home and you haven't, got, you haven't even got the photo that you wanted. So having that nice tactile click instantly lets me know 
I've clicked it and it's worked. Now again, it does have a 20 hour battery life, that's just around 4,000 hours in standby mode. So if you don't use it all the time, you won't have to charge this. I don't think I've charged this for around three months now. And I mean, I'm using it quite a lot if I'm doing just taking photos out and about, but unless you're like a professional phone photographer, I mainly use my camera anyway, but you know, if you're using your phone every day, non-stop if you're at an event something like that then yeah you're probably gonna have to charge it multiple times i like to have it just on my phone because it works as a nice hand grip as well as you can see you put your finger underneath and it gives a bit more grip to your phone instead so as an avid user i can say still one of the best things i've actually put on my phone the only thing i wish they would do is allow you to obviously take the g grip clamp off it would have been nice if it was sort of magnetic or if they gave you extra sticky pads like the 3M tape to put on there, because once it's off, that's it. You can't put it back on. And if you've got a case like mine and you want to change cases, if you're doing a bit more outdoorsy photography and you wanted a bit more of a harder case on there, you'd have to get another grip and put it on there. Now, obviously they do supply more than one grip, but I've had issues with this before. And that's probably the biggest downfall that I found with the G grip is trying to actually take that 3M tape off. That, like just that little red sticker part, absolute nightmare. I think I went, because they sent me three out and I think I went through four of these little grip pads here just to get one on my phone. That was the biggest issue that I found with this. And then ever since then, apparently they have updated the 3M tape to make it a bit easier for you to peel off the back in. But for me, it was a nightmare. But that is the G-Grip. So this was just a little update to say my code is still active. Callum20, get yourself 20% off. I've seen my code actually shared on Reddit by someone which I really appreciate. Again, if you're looking at the G-Grip, definitely recommend it, especially at the price it is right now. The higher end prices, it doesn't really feel worth it compared to some others that I've seen online. But for me, this has definitely been one of those things that I just carry as an everyday carry. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. And the good thing is if you get more than one, you can have one charged one charging. I mean, if you are taking photos like crazy, if one runs out, slap that on, get another one, charge it, whatever. That is the G Grip. I hope you enjoyed this review a lot more than the previous review because that was just absolute nightmare. I was getting into the whole reviewing scene and it was very new to me where now I sort of understand. You wanna see the product, you wanna see what it's about and that's it. But that's everything I can think of with the G Grip. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe because we've got so many more reviews on the way. Hit the like button if this helped you and you wanna save this video for later on to come back and use the discount code. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads but other than that remember capture create captivate that's the little motto we've got going on right here and i'll see you all in the next video